now. Let's do it. So Aquaman, um, his really strong defensive play style, that's what he's meant to do. That's what he did in part one, that's what he does in this, and we didn't really want to touch that too much, because, you know, again, that's Aquaman players like doing it, it's a valid play style. But we did feel that when he gets going and when he success successfully connects with the move, he's doing a little bit too much damage. So to that end, we made one really major adjustment with Meter Burn uh, Tentacle Strike. It does not launch you. So now instead of uh, getting um, big convertible damage on like a lot of staying back in trades, you now just get a flat chunk of damage. So like you're, you're not just gonna be able to throw out strings and throw out things in a tentacle strike and then be able to meter burn it into getting these big damage chunks. You're now gonna have to change up your combos and go for a meter burn scoop, which is a little bit more of a risk to get your damage. Uh, but Aquaman's not really meant to be a big like powerhouse character. He's a defensive wall. And because he's doing the scoop, he's gonna have to use his down two to then pop them up and down to scale a lot more. So overall, yeah, his combos, when he just hits you with the back one, it's gonna be decent combo damage, but it's not gonna be exceptional like it was before. And we talk about combo damage too, like you're talking up close combo damage, you can do the back three off of that, but also just as important, you can't do a, a, trident, a, a trident toss directly after right. a full screen from the deep. Yeah, it'll give you a, a little bit of less, just convertible damage. Right. Something like practical things you'd be able to do is sort of just throw out tentacle strikes and then meter burn them and catch a back three where it would have done upwards of 300 damage. Now it's only doing the flat 200. Can, can anyone guess, real quickly, what all of Chad is saying right now? They're talking about Trident Rush. No, what are they talking about? Does that change alone? Um, I don't know. Aquaman is done. It's oh, Aquaman's over. done? It's Rip over? Aquaman. Oh, okay. Rip Aquaman, I guess, guys. Well, do you want to talk about Trident Rush? I think we should. We've also slightly uh, normalized the damage the Trident Rush does on block and on hit. It's, it's still a decent chunk of damage, but it's not what it was before, I think. And um, that also means he won't build as much meter as he did before. Yeah, because the meter build is, is, is uh, the amount of meter you gain for player blocking something is uh, governed by the amount of block damage you're doing. So the more block damage, block damage something does, the more meter you gain. Now, the, the uh, disadvantage on block is the same. The guessing games are the same after you block it. It's still a great keep out tool. He's still doing shit, but it won't be as oppressive. Yeah, so you don't, you don't generally have to now change the way you play Aquaman. It's just a matter of your strengths are a little bit lower, and, but then um, his general base gameplay is uh, still the same. And then finally, the back one, two, three string is now negative on block instead of advantage on block. Yeah, and it's not punishable. It's just something right. where it's just a little bit negative. So it's not just a straight, like, you have to guess between a down one try to rush after. Now you can at least fight back a little bit. Yes, it's very low negative. So down one's still going to be very viable, but it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be, like, as much of a pressure tool as it was before.